Hi guys, welcome to the Raven Wolf channel. This is Anna and today's video it's going to be about fulgurite. <clears throat> and before I start the slideshow here, um I want to tell you a little bit of fulgurite, um which I actually found out about it a few weeks ago. The first time I went to the crystal shop where I did a live stream um last week. Um and I found a uh, fulgurite. So um, I thought that was very interesting. Like I said, I've never seen anything like that before or heard about it. So I definitely want to share uh, some information. And I will be sharing what I've been feeling since I've been working with fulgurite. Because I did purchase a little piece. So um, yeah, I will tell you guys what I think. But anyways, um, so I'm going to start this. Um, so fulgurite is says is says to be the stone of power. So fulgurite, <clears throat> excuse me, is a very special type of uh, fused quartz and glass that is created by lightning that strikes in the desert or in a sandy soil. So this is also known as uh, petrified lightning. So it's a very fragile stone, but even though it's fragile, it also have um very powerful it is very powerful because it holds the energy and the power of a lightning. <clears throat> so the lightning strike creates the fulgurite by releasing a huge amount of energy into the earth. For an instance, the heat when the lightning strike strikes discharges its energy and it says to be hotter than the surface of the sun and um the meaning of the word fulgurite comes from the latin word fulgar which means lightning uh fulgurite are high energy formations due to the nature of their birth they are practically noted for the ability to channel and direct energy Fulgurite has been used to communicate uh, with aliens and entities or ascended beings in the spirit world. They are often used for clear audience. So uh, if you're trying to develop your clear audience um, ability, psychic ability, this will be a good, um, a good stone, cl glass, crystal, whatever you want to call it, uh, to work with. Um, so yeah, this crystal enables you to master your clear audience abilities and it creates the ability to perfect yourself as a clear channel. So this enables you to access universal knowledge and to connect intuitively with your guides. Fulgurite uh, are also used to enhance communication in the physical world and are used as stone of leadership. Um, this stone uh, can be... Uh, can help you access your inner power and help you stand in your power and to use it in a balanced way. Um, balance, right? It's all about balance. Uh, it also brings you empowerment that aids you in being your true authentic self. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm, when I was doing some research about Fulgurite, I was very um, impressed with the metaphysical properties and, um, yeah, what it does. But anyways, um, so Fulgurite are quite fragile. So it's not advisable to carry them in a pocket because you can easily crush them. Um, however, they're excellent um, shamanic and spiritual tools that can be used in crystal grids as a meditation aid or on altars or as a crystal healing tool. So energy flows inward towards us or outwards with a fulgurite depending on our intent when we use it. So a fulgurite assists in connecting our mind to the universe, heightening our gifts of divination and perception. So It will be cool if you can sit in meditation with a fulgurite and see what information comes to you. 
Now, I haven't done that specific thing, which um, I'm still working with the crystal. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, you can use Fulgurite as a power of meditation tool to tap into your power of uh, your own power and intuition. Um, it also it's a powerful tool that can be used in manifest manifesting. So you can also program the stone with intentions and those intentions will be magnified with the power of the stone. So I think that if you're trying to manifest something in your life and bring it kind of fast, like a lightning, <laughs> um, use, uh, definitely use Fulgurite. And I'm actually using Fulgurite to manifest something special. So uh, that's what I'm using Fulgurite. And I don't know. I will, we'll, we'll see. I'll let you guys know an update maybe later in the comments and I'll pin it for you guys that, you know, after a while to see if, the, if it helped with the manifesting tests that I'm doing here. <laughs> but um, anyways, so uh, one thing that it's advisable is that we set our intentions wisely. Because fulgurite is very much what, you know, what we get what we wish for. Um, so they're excellent visualization tools and assist us in manifesting what we need in life. So although it is always wise to ensure we already have little things of what we're asking for. Um, for example, if we want to manifest abundance, we must feel abundant abundance if we're looking for love then we must feel an act with love and so like attracts like so kind of like be aware of what you're really wishing and trying to manifest um so fulgurite works best with the higher chakras from the head upwards stimulating them and encouraging any energy blockage to rise out the physical body to be released so this is also a great crystal to use for releasing any blockages in certain different chakras. Um, they're said to work very well for those with clear audience skills. So if you're developing a gift of working with spirit, these are an easy tool to use. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to develop your skills, <clears throat> your clear, clear audience skills. Um, so the energy of this stone alone makes it wonderful for manifestation, like I was saying, especially through the power of prayers. So sit with one uh, prior to meditation and fully envision one's intentions or even state it out loud. Then blow your intention through the fulgurite. But again, be careful what you wish for as it will manifest what was intended. So the stronger uh, one's imagination is, the stronger the outcome will be. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, this is just like a, I guess a little ritual to do your manifestations with this crystal. Um, <clears throat> so placing, so I, I read somewhere that Placing fulgurite on your lips, it will trigger an energetic reaction and it will send a tingly sensation to the heart chakra. I tried that and I actually didn't feel that. I felt a little tingly actually on my lips, but I didn't feel anything tingly on my heart chakra. And um, I do know by working with different crystals that um, it depends on your frequency and your energy and your vibration. It depends on what frequency you are. That's kind of like what you're going to receive from the crystal. So if you're in a very high frequency, you know, you will receive really high. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but like, okay. For example, when I started using, um, Moldavite, um, I could not even wear it like a whole day because it will make my heart beat really fast. It will make me feel like I drink uh, two energy drinks, uh, five hour energy drinks, two of them. Like my heart was racing. I was like up. So I couldn't wear it at first. I couldn't wear it every day because that was too much. But I took a break and then I did some work 
inner work and stuff and then I started wearing again I give it a try again and actually I don't have a problem I can actually go to bed and sleep with it I have no no problem so anyways what I'm trying to say is maybe I didn't feel that heart chakra thing because there's I don't know maybe I my vibration didn't match I don't know something like that (laughs) um anyways um I kind of got this Directed with a side story here. So back to fulgurite. So fulgurite also creates an, an energetic bridge that connects one's thoughts with one's of those of the divine mind. Fulgurite aids in the anchor, anchoring of the light body. And fulgurite can be helpful in instances of low or constricted physical energy. It can help in healing blockages and strengthening blood flow in the extremities and capillaries. Fulgurite is a good stone for use in instance of impotence and sexual dysfunction. Interesting. Um, also says um, that... Uh, So, like, due to fulgurite's strong storm element energy, it can rapidly clear patterns from emotional body, and it helps in clearing all forms of relationship. So, fulgurite is also excellent at shedding light onto karmic, karmic aspects of relationship with others in your life. So, I feel like this is a very powerful um, little crystal here that... I feel like, I don't want to say like when you want some fast results, like, and when your intentions are right and when it's the right time, like, Fulgurite would do the the job if you work with it. Um, But anyways, that's just my opinion. But the lesson that Fulgurite offers is like, be careful what what you wish for and you will surely get it. You know, by becoming a channel for divine energy, you're able to manifest more efficiently. So every creation, it's, it, is own, it is own lesson. And when you ask for something from the divine, you're simply asking from the divine to package your next lesson in a particular form. So Fulgurite will help you in bringing your thoughts into fruition. So be sure to hold positive thoughts and do this work only after surrendering to the divine so this will ensure your creations uh, serve the highest good fulgurite is also one of the most powerful initiators initiators of spiritual transformation and the frequency of the divine it is an excellent stone for teachers channels and others who must accurately speak Seek information and guidance from the higher realms. So if you're a, you know, person that works with tarot and, and, you know, I feel like this is, this will be a good crystal to have. Um, Fulgurites are, again, powerful stones, but also for grounding. Their energy can be used to arouse the Kundalini forces at the root chakra and move through each chakra at every level of our light body, purifying it and cleansing the entire system. So this is badass. So the empower, empowering energy from this stone opens the higher chakras to the divine energy. It opens and clears the psychic and intuitive senses, encouraging our sense of creative and inner power. And allows us for assistance with the divine prophecy, and it helps us one in rapid connection with the frequency of the universal truth through prayers or meditation. Um, Fulgurite has shown to help uh, one to experience major break- breakthroughs when kept closed and to release habitual patterns that no longer serves us. So this is great for releasing again. Um, this is a particular beneficial stone for healers, teachers, psychics, and channelers, as well as others who need a curly, uh, oh, actually, I think I already said that, information 
uh, and guidance from higher realms. Yeah, I already said that. So uh, Fulgurite can quickly clear negative patterns from the emotional body and assist in clearing all forms of anger and confusion within relationships. So this is a relationship crystal too. So Fulgurite is also excellent at shedding light at karmic aspects of relationship with others in your life. And this stone attunes to both Gemini and Virgo um, signs. So like I said, pretty interesting little crystal here, the stone of power. And as you guys can see, and for the things I just mentioned, um, it's, uh, it's a very intense <laughs> little crystal here. But anyways, I said I was going to tell you guys my experience that I had or since I've been working with it. And I must say that the first night that I had it, um, my ears started ringing. Started ringing a lot. So I remember that was that was something that happened the first day. And then I've been working with it for what now two weeks. And I don't know. I, 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 there's still I'm I guess I'm still working on my manifestations and we'll see. And I definitely feel like my intuition has heightened. Um a little I feel so I also think that it's part of uh, working with this uh, fulgurite um, what else I actually have it under my pillow and I wrap it on a little like cloth thingy because like I said it's very sensitive like you can easily easily break it it's like flaky I don't know it's it's sand, petrified sand. I don't know. <laughs> so it's delicate. Um, but yeah, I have it under my pillow and I say my little um, manifestations every night and we'll see what happens. But no, I mean, I, I like it. I like it so far and I'm going to keep working on it. And like I said, I will give you more of an update. I do want to try what I said, um, the meditation and visualization. I haven't done that. So I definitely want to try that and see. Uh, maybe I'll write in a comment um, later what I saw or my ex what I experienced or didn't or whatever. But anyways, I hope this video uh, inspires you and encourages you to uh, work with Fulgurite. It seems that it's a great time of a year to start doing, doing that. And we're getting a new moon pretty soon. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, go get you some Fulgurite. And it's, it's not expensive at all. So anyways, okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.